Hey everyone, Steve Shiner here again, optometrist, entrepreneur, internet marketer, and I wanted to share with you a learn that I had from today. I was at my son's soccer game today, and uh, early on it was very ma very even matched. It was one to one. Uh, my son was playing defense, and he was playing well. And then the team scored a goal to get ahead, and suddenly the floodgates opened, and all of a sudden my son's team was behind four goals to one. And my son got very disheartened. He got very upset, and it started affecting the way he played. Uh, he wasn't running as hard. He wasn't trying as hard. He was letting his emotions get the best of him, and it was affecting his efforts on the field. And needless to say, they lost. And he was unhappy throughout. He was unhappy afterwards. And like I said, it affected the way he performed on the field because he let it get to him early on, and it just kept getting worse. And I started thinking about how much that's like life uh, and business. When sometimes when things aren't going the way we hoped they were, we stop putting in as much effort. It's not working, or it's not going the way I thought it would, or I'm not where I thought I was going to be, or this happened, or that happened, or I'm here when I should be there, or somebody else got what I wanted, etc., etc. But what we need to realize is that when we're losing, we've not lost. When we're down, we're not out. When we're behind, it's not over. And what I tried to explain to my son was that when you're behind, that's when you try even harder. When you're losing, you scramble to catch up. Right? Because that's when real effort is necessary in the catch-up game, when you're falling behind. We don't give up. What do you accomplish by giving up? We've all heard the expression, quitters never win and winners never quit. There's a reason for that. If you quit, it's over. And in many things in life, including business, the only time you've actually failed is once you quit. And only you can decide when that's the right time, if there's a right time, depending on the situation. But in most businesses, if you hang on, if you keep swimming, if you keep fighting, if you keep struggling, the situation is going to get better. But it requires the effort from you. Right? You can't get your emotions get the best of you. You can't give in to them. You can't get upset. Well, you can get upset. You just can't let that affect your efforts. You can't that, let that affect how hard you fight and how hard you struggle to accomplish what you want, to reach your goals, to achieve what you've set out in front of you. So, I know it sounds like a pretty uh, deep learn or lesson coming from a soccer game of kids under 10 years old, but it was a lesson that I had to explain to my son. Can't give up. You can get upset, but you try harder. And win or lose, at least you gave it your best. And I think that's an important lesson for all of us, is to keep trying, give it your best, and what happens will happen. But at least you gave it your all. And you can be proud of your efforts. and not embarrassed or ashamed of the fact that you gave in and you gave up and you quit. Nothing ever comes from quitting. So if you find yourself in a situation in life, in a relationship, in business, if it's not the situation that you want it to be, you got to do something about it. Can't give up. Fight on. Okay, that's all I got for you this evening. Hope you had a fantastic day. Talk to you tomorrow.